Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the difference between latch and flip flop, right? So in that video, we discussed that latches are level sensitive, whereas flip flops are edge sensitive. Now in this video, we will try to focus on very frequently asked interview question called explain flip flop is a combination of master and slave latches and very important question and very simple on the other hand now see here master is positive level triggered whereas slave is negative level triggered okay so whenever there is a positive level of the clock master will active and whenever negative level of the clock slave will become active and whatever data will be present will transparent to the output because the latches are transparent device okay now see master is active become active when the whenever there is a positive level and this slave will become active in enable when there is a negative level of the clock because not gate is connected here right so we will see how this master slave combination worked as a negative age triggered flip flop okay now see this is what the positive level next positive level of the clock and this next positive level of the clock at this positive level this master slave master will become enable and whatever data will be present will transparent to the output now see this is what the output qm of master first we will see the q qm output of the master let me make the dotted line so that it become easy for you to understand now see this is what the positive level of clock whatever data is here will be transparent to the output okay and in the next is negative level so it will retain its previous value hold its previous value what previous value is one so till this next positive level it will retain this value at this positive level whatever data is here zero will be transparent to the output okay and this during this negative level it will retain its previous value what is previous value zero Okay. At this positive level, whatever data is here, 1 will be transparent to the output. And during this negative level, it will retain its previous value. This is what the master, which is positive level triggered. Okay. Now see the slave. For slave, QM is work as a data. And this is clock. And this is negative level okay now see this is what the data let me erase this first and it will work at this negative level of the clock so whenever it encounters negative level it, whatever data will be present will transparent to the output now see during this positive level it retain its previous value right what is previous value zero it will retain in zero during this negative level whatever data is here one so this one will be transparent to the output during this positive level it will retain its previous value one right during this negative level whatever data is present will be transparent to the output zero is here okay during this positive level it will retain its previous value zero during this negative level whatever data is here one which is transparent to the output very simple now this master slave combination will make the negative age triggered flip flop let me repeat 
this master slave combination of the latches will make the negative edge triggered flip flop as master is active high enable signal and slave is active low enable now see if you want to cross check how it is making negative edge triggered flip flop just draw negative edges here and we will see as you know in the flip flop whatever data is present during active edge will be transparent uh, will be at output till the next active edge of the clock right <clears throat> as it is negative level negative edge uh, triggered flip flop it will work at negative edge see during this negative edge one is here right so till now it is zero now at this negative edge one is here so output will be one till the next negative edge of the clock this is what the functionality of flip flop okay at this negative edge zero is here right so zero will be there till the next negative edge okay and at this negative edge one is here right so one will be there till the next negative so this is what the output of negative edge flip flop if you compare these both you will get same so this master slave combination of latches is making negative edge triggered flip flop now take the homework and try to make positive edge triggered flip flop by using two com latches combination of master and slave so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching